You see us? That's me. Good morning, everybody. It is you. We're joined by a special guest lecturer, Violet Mosca. Uh, she is very entranced by her own image, just like her father. Ha ha ha. All right. Uh, I quickly want to review lesson two and then uh, show you the quiz for today. Uh, and that is it. I'm going to spend a lot of the weekend uh, finishing up your tests, and then we'll continue with the Civil War next week. Um, so as far as some of the big topics of um, lesson two, obviously we inaugural address, I went over that in great detail. Um, the video, um, uh, to go over the answers here, number one, who won the first battle of the Bull Run, first Manassas, uh, that would be the Confederacy, right? So that was a bit of a surprise because uh, based upon um, kind of sheer numbers and if there were odds on this in Vegas, Vegas wasn't around back then. Um, people would have thought the Union would have won, not just in a matter of uh, a quick victory, but really in the matter of weeks or even months. Number two, how would you describe the level of confidence? Well, exactly for the reasons I just said, very high. Uh, the North, um, there was almost a celebratory mood that after, you know, training and drilling over and over again for two, three, four months, that finally they had their chance to engage in battle. Um and uh, it was seen as almost like a, a holiday, right? That people after the 4th of July holiday were bringing carriages and picnic baskets um, to uh, to watch this battle, which again, just seems so so insane that, that this would be a spectator event. Uh, number three, the Confederate general is Stonewall Jackson, right? That's how he got his nickname, Thomas Stonewall Jackson, because he stood there like a stone wall. Am, am I losing you? Ready. Hi, you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> um, by the numbers, if you click on that document, uh, you would see that um, based upon everything, the North had a very clear advantage. Um, so, um, you know, more people, obviously that means more soldiers, more railroad, that offers you the ability to move troops, to move uh, food, to move artillery, all of those things. Um, and then uh, more factories, you know, to make stuff, uh, especially with regard to um, ammunition, weaponry, uh, ships. These are all things, something called ironclads that appear later on. Um, so anyway, those are the answers for that. And then the quiz is pretty, uh, pretty basic. Eight questions, all multiple choice. For number five, it's just a choice of two. Um, and yeah, that's it. So please complete that by tomorrow at um, 8 a.m. And I'll grade those as well as finish grading your tests uh, that you turned in uh, on Tuesday. Violet, would you like to say goodbye? Bye. Say bye. 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 That's good. That is good. And now we can watch my tea time. And now you can watch Daniel Tiger.